Hello, my little maniacs. This is your host, the Maniacs Gaming, coming at you with some state of survival. As you all know, an update just dropped live for everybody yesterday. Or, well, whatever you guys see this video, I'm not sure. But for me, it was this morning slash yesterday when I was sleeping. So we're going to go ahead and go over that. But we also got a Lion's Throwdown going on. So we'll go ahead and get one of those going. That won't be our main focus this video. But we will definitely take a task and go ahead and get troops going doing that. Oh, boy. If defeat five infected fiends with rallies, that sounds lovely. Let's see. And hey, look at that. We got one going. So we might as well send the army. I know that's not my full army, but just so I don't forget. Do they upgrade the HQ look? Mm. I like it. I think they did. It looks nice. I'm not sure what they did, but it definitely does look different. That looks nice. I do enjoy that. Uh, everything else seems to be pretty normal, so that's... Very nice. Uh, wants to upgrade our barracks, so we'll go ahead, do that, ask for some help. And then while that's going, go ahead, train some troops up in the range. As well as the garage. And... We'll go ahead and research. Ask for help with that as well. Alright, so update time, because you know, everyone loves that. So, one of the major things about this update comes to the headquarters. If you go ahead, click info, if you haven't seen this, you'll now notice that it does not say what out of what level your HQ is. So that's kind of different, but why did they change this? Click more details. Scroll all the way down. All right, we have 30 now. Woohoo! You know, you can see 30 all the way at the bottom, but if you look, it doesn't stop there. What? Yes, you can now upgrade your HQ30 to different star levels in order to increase your battle power. As far as I am personally aware at this time, the only way to be able to upgrade it, along with some other things, I don't know if they've released it. Yes, you can see right there. You can now have plasma troops. Obviously, I don't know how to unlock those quite yet. I'm going to guess when you start unlocking, upgrading your HU, those just all automatically unlock or we'll find out how to unlock them when we get there but yes this is going to be a main, new main concept of state of survival is going to be this whole plasma con idea and the only way as of right now that i am aware to get plasma as far as i am aware if anyone else knows a little different than i do let me know but as far as I personally know from what I've seen from the developers on the State of Survival page, so you know you all have history as to this. Let's see. Would this tell me? No. Alright. As far as I am aware, the only way to get plasma is going to be through the capital fight. As far as I am concerned. That is what I am aware of. As far as I know... The only way to be get plasma is through the capital fight. Participate in the capital fight. Not sure if they're going to do it based on ranking or based on damage or what. But as far as I know, that is the only way to do it. Alright. A few um, other updates that they have made comes into the missions section. They have actually changed it to make it a little easier for people to earn points. So sign in stayed the same. Timer help now does one. you can, And then it goes changes to five. And then twenty. To, this is basically to help people just be able to do the challenges a little bit easier so they can actually get as many points as possible. Same with the training, missions, donations, 
explorer challenges everything's gotten this lovely update which i personally love you know this makes it so much easier to actually be able to see what you need to do as you can see you know oh hey look at that infected fiend defeated woo so you can see everything's done this so that's very nice i love that another thing that's changed is if you actually look oh, do i have anyone around me oh yeah boss on 91 i don't know if that's how you pronounce it peace shields are no longer green they are blue now which i, I i'm a bit impartial to it right now i kind of like it but at the same time i kind of don't it's it's kind of nice let's see can we actually see the difference between is there a difference between peace shields of your allies versus your enemies i honestly don't know We'll get on this lovely thing over here in a minute. No, peace shields stay the same. Okay. So those are the main changes that I have noticed. Well, other than the one I'm about to show you guys. Oh, hey, look, we're power ranking 10. Some of you may be yelling at me for that. Let's see. Ready to build, ready to build, ready to build. Completed. Oh, we do have them completed. So, these lovely new buildings, these have both been released. Contender Fist. This one's for the, oh god, if I'm thinking right. This one, I want to say it's for the Alliance Showdown. And then the other one, which I'll show you guys when I can find it, is for the, oh god, what is it? The for throwdown. If I'm thinking of this correctly, I'm not mixing them up. But if you click it and look at it, rewards of honor are earned via the special alliance events that are are proof of an alliance powers. This building cannot be attacked, but also gives you benefits towards your gathering speed. So which that that's lovely. I've been saying that for a little bit now that we need to be able to get gathering speed differentials for each of the different resources as of you know, before we only had it so we could actually get gas faster through the Alliance HQ, which right here. And if you click features, see gas speed increased by 20. But now they've made it so that everything can be increased, which I like that. Let's see. Uh, Def's chilling over there. Where is it? Do we not have it up? Or can you only build one? Oh, nope, here it is. Showdown Gold. Yes, these do physically change based on your rank as far as I am concerned. I'm not 100% sure, but the dip, because LGN has a better better ones than we do as I've checked that out on my main account. So again, this is the whole rewards based on the special alliance events. This one's for Showdown. Oh, did I mix them up? Yep, I did. Showdown, Throwdown. I did mix them up. That is my bad. Again, increase everything. Now, let's see. Go over to LGN. We're right over here. Hi, guys. Where's theirs? Can I see their benefits? So, if I click right on it. Oh, I can. Really? Hmm. I could have sworn that it said a different one. Based on my, based on the freaking level of your showdown and throwdown. Maybe I'm wrong. Let me pull up my main account and see. Okay, where is it? Don't mind me. I'm just going to look real quick just to give you guys accurate information. No, nope, it is 3% on this one too. That's weird. I could have sworn that it was different based on your rank. Well, maybe because they have a similar rank, maybe. Where's the other one? That would be able to tell us. Alliance, territory, other. Here it is. All right. All right. Yes, it does change based on your rank. So, the LGNs over here. 
I just found it. Oh. There it is. So it does change based on your rank. This is for throwdown. Champion, because we are in ch LGN is in champion. So it does change. That's nice. You know, they do look nice. I will give the developers credit for that. They do look nice. Also, if you go out in map, I should have said this while I was out there, they have changed the way the settlements look now. So they do look a bit smaller now, but it's kind of nice. They still take up the same amount of space, so it's not really losing anything, but they definitely look different, but they look nice. I'll give them that. I do like this. You know, it makes it look like it's actually a settlement, rather a fortress, so I do like the look of it. Let's go into my mail here. Dealt 1% damage. <laughs> oh, that's beautiful. I only dealt one damage. Let's get my rewards. Oh, man. We'll collect our rewards here. Alright, and this is the lovely thing stating what happened. Alright, so this just basically covers everything. Uh, Alliance Honor Buildings. Are and as you can see here, Outlook and Benefit of the Buildings are related to the Alliance Highest History Tier. And then the Plasma Level feature has been added to the Buildings. This feature will be completed will be unlocked when the state intel reformation completes. Ooh, I like that. Players are able to upgrade the plasma level when the building reaches 30, and they will get extra bonuses as the plasma level of the related buildings increase. Added point regarding the Consume and Star Levels material, in Survival of the Fittest event, and then the daily tasks were optimized. Optimizing the operation logic and the task interface. Task difficulty reduced, therefore more players are actually able to get rewards for that. And players are able to switch the game language or chat translation into Malay now. Cool. They're really working hard on this, and I do appreciate that, guys. So, you know, that's definitely always a plus. Uh, looks like research lab's ready to go again, so do that. I don't know. But, yeah, you know, we're working on it. So, oh, let's see. Do I want to, yeah. All right. Where is an infected fiend? There we go. Do I want to do level one? Let's see, how far is level one? That's fine. I'm... That way, you know, on the off chance, only, like, one person joins you that's, like, the same rank as me. Like, you know, that way... <laughs> I won't, like, completely fail. But, yeah, there we go. That's more or less everything kind of covered. You know, they've changed a few things. One thing, if I had to ask for something, just because of how much LGN does these special packs, add a little button here that says collect all that they have on the standard crates. That'd be lovely, especially if you're an alliance that has a lot of those packs. Just because, make it quick so I don't have to sit there and click, 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 click. I have collected over 50 of those in a row once. It got annoying really fast, but it was worth it in the end. Cause, you know, the packages are pretty nice. So, that was kind of worth it. Alrighty, let's see. Did anyone join? No. I'll let Death know. He probably wants to do some rallies, so... And then Alliance Throwdown. I've never really talked about this, so let's go ahead and do this. Get a main overview of this with the update. So there are different different tiers of the Alliance Throwdown. You got your rookie, which is the lowest contender, which is kind of, you know, above rookie, challenger in the middle, expert, which is the second highest, and then championship champion which is like the best of the best like all the top alliances are in that one and obviously you get points from in your alliance depending on where you wind up 
You have to have at least 300 solo points to collect rewards. You only get points... Oh, you do get points for... Hmm. I don't know. 16, 18 rewards. I don't know. Oh. I have to check that out more when I see it. But yeah, this way, this is the leaderboard here. You can see how other players are doing compared to you. As I am free to play mostly on this account, I don't expect to do very well. Of course, I'm also ranked 52 right now. But once I do this, I'll have 80 points. So, And then alliance points level rewards. As we are contained, the, these are the rewards we get. You know, you get different rewards based on your rank, based on your level. They require a certain amount of points, as you can see. Higher the level, the b the higher the rank you are in the re in the re in the throwdown, the better rewards you get. Obviously, champion has the best, rookie has the worst. You know what? We're rank 14. I I'll take that, considering how small we are compared to others. And then also, if you click on Alliance, you can see what rank you are. Like, as you can see, we are projected right now to actually rank up and go on into Challenger. So that's always nice. You do get rewards based on where your, elite, where your clan is. Like, as you can see, obviously, they have r different ones. So obviously, since we're rank 3, these are the rewards we'd get. But these obviously would go down to rank 5. And then here's the board. Uh, the thing you don't want to happen is you do not want to be towards the bottom because that means that you can, depending on your league, get demoted to a different league, which would be very unfortunate because, you know, you don't want that. As you can see, you can see on this side your logo over here with the contender. And underneath that is what level your lines currently is. If they're maxed, it just says maxed. And then you see how many points you are away from actually being able to complete it. So that's nice. Oh, someone's joined me, thank God. That would not have gone well. If no one joined, considering, you know, I'd be all alone and that would have been sad. But yeah, that's the update in a nutshell, guys. You know, rather easy video today. Just a few things before I get off. Um, first of all, thank you everyone who has subscribed so far. As of the recording of this video, we have over 50 subscribers. Let's go. That's so awesome, and we're growing faster than I would ever have expected. So I very much appreciate all of you for subscribing that have subscribed already. If you haven't subscribed, come join the train. Be one of the first. Be one of the first ones before we hit 100 subscribers. At the rate we're going, we'll probably be hitting that by the end of the year. So definitely, you want to be on this pre-100 subscriber chain, guys. Come on. And then after that, you know, 1,000. We'll go from there. We got this. I believe in you all. And I appreciate each and every one of you that subscribed and liked the videos. If you don't like them, come, go tell me why. If you have an issue with, the video, if, with them for whatever reason, just let me know. Like someone the other day told me that they didn't like the heroes I was using for trap. I took that into consideration, like, I apologize for that, but I, unfortunately, those are the only heroes I have available for Trap, because they were the only ones I had unlocked, but now I have all these heroes unlocked here, so I'll definitely be figuring out which ones I want to personally use for Trap. You know, I know that these three aren't the best, because, you know, they don't benefit really as much as the others, so I'll definitely be looking into it, figuring out which ones I want to use based on levels and whatnot before I do a next video on trap. So that's definitely something to be looking forward to. And that's all I really have for you guys today. As always, like this video if you enjoy the content today. Subscribe if you haven't on already. Let's get going to that track to 100 subscribers. We're pushing already. Let's keep it going. We're at 53 last I knew. That might change by the time this video goes live. If you and you know, just don't there'll be a donation link down in the description if you feel so generous. And tell your friends. Just get the vid, get the word out there about the maniacs gaming. And I appreciate each and every one of you.
for supporting my channel so far. And as always, I will see all of you later. Stay crazy.